Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. How you doing, people? How you doing? How are you? Tell me. I think. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry, Veronica. What do you yes. have? Uh, what do you have? I... ¿Cómo se dice? Como congestionado. Congestionation. You have a sore throat? Constipado. Do you have what? Sorry? Do you have sore throat? Sore throat. What yes. does it mean? Like, like, uh, when you have oh, a... Oh, yes. Yes, yes. I'm sorry, Veronica. <sighs> And it's Monday. I know, yes. <laughs> it's Monday. Wow. That's not good. It's Monday. It's Monday. All right. All right. Well, the good thing is that you are here. Hi, everyone. How are you? How is everything? Today is Monday. It means that you are full of energy today. <laughs> good night. No, it's not true. <laughs> not really, right? Not really. <laughs> Okay, I was just saying, you know, I was saying that maybe you are, you are, uh, like, motivated. No, I worked yesterday, so I'm so tired. You worked yesterday? Yes. No, not possible. That's not possible. Why? <laughs> it's my obligation, right? Your obligation. <laughs> yes. Your obligation. Hi, Jancy, Mayra, Denise, Elwin, Andy, Christian. Paola and Veronica, welcome, people. It's Monday. Hello, teacher. Good night. Good, Good night, teacher. Welcome, welcome. Good night. Hello. Hello, hello. Are you working, Denise? No, thank God. <laughs> you look, you look very, very. Uh, how can I say that? Uh, I don't know. Yes. Very yes. formal. Yes. <laughs> exactly. I just came home. Yes. He's oh, okay. home office, teacher. <laughs> uh, home office. <laughs> She's doing some, some home office. All right, all right. Oh, me too. I'm doing some home office work right now. <laughs> but I don't call it working. This is just a hobby, you know. <laughs> it's just a hobby. All right. People, let me tell you that maybe it's possible. Okay, I'm not really sure. There's a storm, a storm coming and uh, there is thunder there's lightning so if i lose connection it's because of that yes and if i if i uh have wi-fi problems i'm going to use my my cell phone data okay yes it is not going to be the same but you know uh i might i might use it you know yes excellent there you go let me begin hello marvin welcome let me start jorge hello let me start by taking attendance. Hello. Hi, hi. Welcome. Thank Let's you. Let's see. Ana Victoria Galán. Present. Yes, oh, what? No la había visto, mire. ¿Dónde está? Ah, hello, Ana. Hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Good I night. just saw you. Sé que tiene suerte. Raquel Elizabeth. Hello, Raquel. Welcome. Joining the class. Oh, let me continue. Andy Ernesto Martinez. Hello, teacher. Present. Thank you. Brian David Ramirez Bernal. Brian is not here yet. Carlos Alberto Orrego Monge. He's celebrating his, his birthday. <laughs> Carlos Eliezer Dimas Soriano. Christian Alexander Rivera Carrata. Present teacher. Thank you, Christian. Denise Alejandra Zuniga Aldana. Present. Thank you, Denise. Diana Yamilet Maravilla Navas. Diana is not here. Edith Adilia Hernandez Chacón. She's, she hasn't been here. Day one. Edwin Heriberto Delgado Verdugo. Present teacher. Thank you, Edwin. 
Ismael Ernesto Boyat Solís. No. Ok. Jorge Ernesto Hernández Durán. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jorge Marvin Josué Cortés Rodas. Present, teacher. Thank you, Marvin. Mayra Elizabeth Lazo Escobar. Present, teacher. Thank you, Mayra, and welcome. Paola Geraldine uh, Santa Maria Ramirez. Present. Thank you, Paola. Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa Rodriguez. Present. Thank you, Raquel. Ricardo Douglas López López has not been here since, since day one. So we don't know, I don't know what's going on with him. Sandra Yvette Mendoza de Flores. Sandra is not here yet. Sara Rachel Salazar de Cosme. Veronica Lisset Portillo de Castro. Present. Thank you, Veronica. Jancy Andrea Solorzano Castro. Present, teacher. And thank you, Jancy. One, two, three, four, two, seven, eight, nine. There are nine people missing. Well, it will be seven because Edith Adelia has not been here, has not been in any of the classes. Same with Ricardo. But there are nine people missing. Hopefully, the, oh, Ismael is here. Brian is here. Okay, Brian, welcome. Thank you, teacher. Uh, sorry to be late. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> Thank you. You're five. You're five or seven minutes late. Right. Now we're just we're missing seven people only. Let's begin. Let's begin. Let me share. Today, we have a very easy grammar topic. And I have brought some vocabulary to learn or to practice today. But let me begin with this. Today is class number four, Monday 14th. Okay, people, this is flying, you know. Tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to finish or we will be done with the first week, the first unit, or the first session. That means, <clears throat> excuse me, that means that you have to complete the first session of the platform by tomorrow. I was checking on Saturday, I think. I was checking on Saturday, and there are only two people that have worked on the platform. <laughs> I don't remember who, who are those people, but there are only two people that have been working on the platform. People remember tomorrow is the last the last day or the yeah pretty much the last day to work on the platform. So you need to finish session number one or unit number one by tomorrow. All right. Let me begin by reviewing what we were talking about on Friday. And the question is, do you remember Friday's topic? Hey, do you remember? Yes, teacher. Yes, Veronica, tell me. Yeah, talk about uh, imperatives. Okay, we were talking about imperatives. Can you tell me what an imperative is, guys? What is it? Or uh, and what do we use it for? For re recipes. Mm -hmm. For recipes, what else? Orders. For instructions. Uh, what else? Yes. What else? What else? Okay. Remember that steps. an imperative. Yes. Sorry. Steps. Commands. Okay, steps. All right. All right. Yes. There you go. There you go. All right, let me remind you of imperatives. We use imperatives in different uh, circumstances. And uh, remember, imperatives do not have a subject. They do not have a subject, okay? We do not use subjects. We only, we, we only use the verb 
and the complement of the verb. The verb has to go in the base form, okay? In the base form and the complement, you know, has to be related to the verb. We can also, we can also use negative imperatives. We use don't, the verb in the base form, and we use the complement. But let's take a look. Look, I have pretty much what we use imperatives for. Look, we can use imperatives to give orders, to give orders, okay? We give orders to our children. We give orders to our friends, maybe. We give orders to people in general. For example, come here at once. Ven aquí enseguida. Come here at once. Okay. Look, take the gum out of your mouth. Okay. Es como decir, bota ese chicle. <laughs> right? That's what it means. So we give, we give orders. Okay. Or commands. Commandos like in the military. military for, the, for the army. That's very common. For the army, it's very common to give orders or to give commands. We can use imperatives to, to on signs, okay. Well, on signs, like on the streets, you see, or uh, uh, at the entrance of a place, at the exit of a place, uh, uh, on the streets, you see, uh, you see this, on signs, señales, okay, like push, pull, give away, sorry, give way, stay on your right. What is give weight, people? Que significa give weight? Alguien sabe? <clears throat> give weight. Sorry, wait. No. No. It's like when you're driving. When you're driving. Sorry. Ceder el paso, si no me equivoco. O ceder. Yes. When you are when you're driving, sometimes you have to stop for the for the other cars to go. Ceder el paso, yes, give way. All right, stay on your right, yes. Okay, so those you can see you can see commands on signs too. Okay, it says to give to give instructions, to give instructions. Okay, how to to make something or how to use something, we give instructions. Look, take one pill every twelve hours. That instruction is given is given by a doctor. Open your book on page 20, uh, uh, 33. That is from me, okay? From me. To give warnings, but warnings has to be in the negative form. As you can see here, they are in the negative form. Don't sit on the bench. It's wet paint. Don't smoke. It's bad for your health. To make an invitation, have some tea, still hot, it's still hot. Come in and sit down, we're having a tea. And to give advice, go home and get some rest. These are you in the bedroom, and get some sleep. Go home and get some sleep, you look, excuse me, you look exhausted. Tell me about your trip to Ireland. I told you this one is not, it's not advice. I don't know, but this one is not advice. Yes. All right. Do you have any questions? Okay. Let's do this. I want you guys to give me a command right now, but one person is going to do it in the affirmative form, and the other person is going to do it in the negative form. But different commands, of course. A volunteer. Hello. Volunteer is a magic word. Anybody? What is the activity, teacher? Repeat. Give me a command. Give me an order, give me a command, or give me an imperative. An example. Okay. Can, uh, uh, okay. Okay. Uh, um, teacher, uh, give warning. Sorry? 
Don't sleep late. Okay, don't sleep late. That's a good one. Okay. Don't sleep late. What else, ¿Qué más? What else turn can you off, say? Turn off your phone. Okay, turn off your phone. All right, all right. Let me do it right now. <laughs> what don't else? Speak, don't speak first. Don't speak? First. I'm not speaking fast. <laughs> okay, <but that's, laughs> yes. For don't me, speak yeah. Fast. Don't speak fast. Okay, muy bien, muy bien. Did your desert last? Excuse me? Did your desert last? I cannot hear you, Marvin. Did your, did your desert last? Come to postre de último. Yeah, permítame un segundo. Voy a estar en audífonos porque no escuchan. Te estoy oyendo fuerte. It's a storm right now. I cannot hear you guys. Ah. Lock your earphones. Un segundo, un segundo. Ya regreso. Voy a... Get your dessert lot. Get your dessert lot. Okay. I am back. And hopefully this will, 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 will uh, work. Espero que funcione. Give me a second. Voy a conectar, permítame. No escucho nada, nada, nada. Uh, can you guys hear me? Yes, we can hear you. But I, I, I hear, I hear the, everything on the computer. Hold on. That's right. Hi. Ahora me escucha? Yes. Yes. But I cannot hear you. Hold on. Can you say anything? Anything. <laughs> you say anything, we say anything. Okay. Oh, in your desert. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Marvin. Thank you. Hoy sí les escucho. Fuerte y claro. Aunque mi voz es diferente. La escucho diferente mi voz. La escucho en mi mente. Qué raro. Okay. Let's continue, guys. Let's continue. Give me orders. Practice, practice. Go. Uh, take a shower every day. Okay, take a shower every day. I try to do it every day. It's difficult. <laughs> uh, the others uh, is keep quiet in the bookstore, for example. Okay, keep quiet in the bookstore. No, in the bookstore, no. Library. In the library, exactly, exactly. Library. In the library. All right. Eat. What else? What else? Eat healthy. Okay. Eat healthy. Yes. Eat healthy. What about negative? Negative Thank commands. You. Uh, sorry, teacher is positive. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Don't worry. Take your head for, for the class. Okay. Thank you. I have them here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. What else? Try, try to give me negative um... commands. Don't drink alcohol, George. <laughs> what? It's okay. <laughs> Don't drink beers in the morning, teacher. <laughs> no, that's bad. That's bad. It's bad. Or <laughs> he's there. Or he's angry. <laughs> Don't breakfast with beer. Okay, don't breakfast with beer, all right? Diana, you were saying, Diana? Okay, don't use your cell phone, really, really. Don't use your cell phone? 
while driving. Okay, while driving. Don't use your cell phone while driving. I'm sorry. Yes. I always use it. I am like, it is not true. Okay, people, this is a very easy thing. Thank you very much for, for your examples. Look, we are going to continue on this, the part one in the book. But before we do this, then we Can you see the book? Can you see the book? Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. Okay. We continue talking about manufacturing. That is really fun. And the objective says, I will be able to discuss and write about the equipment of my company. Can you tell me what equipment is? Or do you know what equipment is? Yes. Depends of the company. Okay, it depends on the company. It's pretty much everything that we use to provide a service, to make a product, to sell a product. Well, it's pretty much what we use. Let's begin with the first question. And it says, what type of equipment? Well, let's go back to the question here. What type of equipment is there at your company? Can you tell me? What type of equipment do you have in your company? Tell me, tell me. Electronic. Electronic, okay. For example? Computer, um, printer. Okay, computers, printers. What else? The same teacher and a scanner, I don't know. <laughs> okay, scanners, scanners, what else? For a Cell phones. Veronica, I'm sorry. For copy. Okay, for the copiers. What else? What else? What else? Que más? Que más? This? Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> This? Yeah, yeah. Furniture. In general, we, we, we have uh, furniture. That's part of the equipment. Email for the communicate with the customers. Excuse me, come again? Emails for the communicate. Email. Yes, for the communicate with the customers. Okay, okay, yes. Yes, it's part of it. It's part of it. Yes. What else? What else? Teacher? Yes. I use it I use it, the computer and um, because I don't like order the website and the process and I send I send the email I send the email to the Production department or department production? Production department. The production department. Okay. Production department. Yes. This, this is it. All right. All right. Perfect. Okay. Let's let's continue. Thank you for for uh, mentioning equipment. Over here, over here, I have uh, equipment that we use. Look, some on equipment, but but on the manufacturing area, the manufacturing area, we have some equipment. The most, the most common equipment we have on the manufacturing area is tanks, compressors, Thank you. 
uh, tanks, compressors, centrifuges, uh, mixers, generators, packing shredder, measure cutting, conveyor belt, waste filling machines, and paper. These are the basic things we have at any time. Do you have any questions about it? Questions about it? Yes. Thanks, you know what thanks. No, teacher. What I don't know, man. Thanks. I listen to the connection is partial. <laughs> Sorry? I hear you very well. We, yeah. we can't hear you very well. Yeah. You cannot hear me very well? Uh, now, yes. Now. Maybe the connection is here. One more time, teacher. All right. I was telling you that tanks are uh, recipients or recipients. Uh, 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 ah, okay, okay, okay. Ponel as a tank. You know what compressor is? You know what centrifuge are? No? More questions? That's the meaning of shredders. Uh, that's, a, that's a machine that we use to destroy objects. Tritura. What else? Okay, let me repeat them. We got, we have tanks, we have compressors, centrifuges, mixers, generators, packing machinery, shredders, laser cutting machines, conveyor belts, weight filling machines, and paper cutting machines. Right? So this is the common equipment we have at manufacturing companies. Very good. Now, we're going to go back to the book. And on the book, we're going to see a conversation. And on the conversation or in the conversation, you can see the topic that we're discussing. Let me begin. Listen to your teacher, read the conversation, and then practice part. Of it. Okay, we have a conversation between uh, Peter and Bertha. Bertha, do you think that our company should improve the manufacturing process? I believe so. What do you ask? Because if we do so, reduce costs. I see. I think that we should do what other companies are. And Getting your equipment, I mean, we should not have the same machines, the same footprint. We should be in the 21st century. Right. Maybe we should talk about that in the next. There you go. That's the conversation. Do you have any questions about it? Oh, no, we're good. Okay. 
Let me read the conversation to you again. This time I will do it slow. Perfect. Do you think that our company should improve action? Yes. I believe so. Why do you ask? Because if we do so, we reduce costs. I see. I think that we should do what other companies are doing. And that is getting new equipment. I mean, we should not have the same machines, the same program. It should be in the 20 percent Right. Maybe we should talk about that in the next meeting. There you go. Okay, very good. We have some time. We can practice the conversation. Okay. Uh, all right. Let me start. Two volunteers. Hello. Me, teacher. Okay, Christian. Who else? Hey, Me, teacher. Excellent. Veronica and Christian. Thank you, guys. Go ahead. Okay, Veronica, you're first. <laughs> Thank you. Berta. Uh -uh. <laughs> or your name. <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> It's okay. okay. If you prefer, I can change. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Okay. Berta, do you think that our company should improve the manufacturing process? I believe so. Why do you ask? Because if we do so, we reduce cost. I see. I think that we should do what other companies are doing and that is getting new equipment i mean we should not have the same machines with the same programs we should be in the 21st century right maybe we should talk about that in the next meeting Thank you, Christian and Veronica, for your presentation. Let me continue with Brian and Anna. Okay. Anna, uh, I'm first, if you want. And it's okay. Okay. It's a uh, Berta. Do you think uh, that our company should improve the manufacturing process? I believe so. Why do you ask? Because if we we, we do so, uh, we reduce cost. I see. I think that we should do what other companies are doing. And that is? Getting new equipment. I mean, we should not have the same machines with the same programs. We should be in the... 21st century. Right. Maybe we should talk about the in the next meeting. All right. Thank you, Anna and Brian. Remember, and thank you. Let me continue. Let me try with Andy and Maya. Elisa. Okay, teacher. Good night. <laughs> Berta, do you think that our company should improve the manufacturing process? Because if we do so, we reduce costs. I see. I think that we should do what other companies are doing. And that is? Getting new equipment. I mean, we should not have the same with the same pro programs. We should in the 21st century. Right. Maybe we should talk about that in the next meeting. Okay. okay. Fida and Andy, thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Let me continue with Eric and Raquel.
Okay. Uh, Berta, do you think that our company should should improve the manufacturing process? I believe so. Why do you ask? Uh, because if we do so, we reduce cost. I see. I think that we should do what other companies are doing. And that is. Getting new equipment, I mean, we should not have the same machines with the same programs we should, should be in the 21st century. Right. Maybe we should talk about that in the next meeting. Okay. If you talk about that in the next meeting, Right, you might get fired. All right, Edwin, Raquel, excellent. Thank you very much. Really appreciate your help. Let me try with uh, Jorge and Diana. Okay. Okay. Berta, do, do you think that our company should improve the manufacturing process? I believe so. Why do you ask? I believe so. Why do you ask? Hola? I think uh, the partner lost the connection. Because if we do so, we because hello, can you hear me? Yes, hello, I can hear you now. hello, 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 creo que se cortó por un momento. Sí, sí, escucho. Okay, uh, because if we do so, we reduce cuts. I see, I think that we should do that other company are doing. And that is getting new equipment. I need we all know how they say machinery where the same program we shall be in the 21st what? century. Right. Maybe we should talk about that in the next meeting. Okay, excellent, excellent, Jorge okay. and Kiara. Paola, hello, and Marvin. Okay. Uh, Berta, do you think that our company should improve the manufacturing process? I believe so. Why did you ask? Because if we do so, we reduce costs. I see. I think that we should do what other companies are doing. And that is? Getting new equipment. I mean, we should not have the same machines with the same programs. We should be in the, the uh, 21st century. Right. Maybe we should talk about in the next meeting. All right. All right. Edwin. Edwin. Marvin and Paola, thank you. Thank you both for your participation. Let me... I think we're about to finish. Uh, Sandra, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, Jassy, what about you? Sorry, could you repeat? Let me try with Sandra and Sarah. Okay. I'm Peter. Bert, I, do you, you think? I'm Peter. And you, okay. Bert. Um, 
Berta, do you think that our company should improve the manufacturing process? Uh, I believe so. Why do you ask? Because if we do so, we will reduce costs. I see. I think that we shall do what other companies are doing. And that is getting getting new equipment. I mean, we should not have the same matching uh, with the same programs. Uh, we should be in the 21 century. ¿Cómo se dice? 21st. 20? 21st. 21st century. Right. Maybe we should talk about that in the next meeting. All right, all right. Let me... Denise, your Berta, and Peter. Choose the last one. All right. Berta. Oh, Denise. Denise, do you think our, that our company should improve the manufacturing process? I believe I believe so. Why do you ask? Because if we do so, we reduce costs. I see. I think that we should do what other companies are doing. And that is? Getting new equipment, I mean, we should not have the same machines with the same programs. We should be in the 21st century. Right. Maybe we should talk about that next week. Okay. <laughs> People, thank, thank you very much for your participation. And let me see if it is still raining. It's still raining. Where are you live? Are you here? No, rain. I'm uh -huh. here. Uh, it is raining too. I live in the best department. <laughs> ah. <laughs> no, no, no. I live in the solo time, eh, people. <laughs> okay. I live okay. in the solo time. It's not the best. It's okay, it's okay, Sultan is okay. All right, let me continue with the part number three. Oh, before we continue, I wanna show you something here. So, okay, vamos a la parte tres. Let's continue with part number three. And uh, in the indication says, say if the statements uh, below are true or false. Uh, well, we do not have statements. We have two questions, three questions, pretty much. Okay, then ignore the indication because that is wrong. And uh, number one says, how is the manufacturing process in your company? How is the manufacturing process in your company? That's the first question. The second question says, what do you think about the equipment at your company? Does it need to be upgraded? Why? What is upgraded, guys? Upgraded. Actualization. Yes, in this case, actualizado, right? Yes, that's upgrade. what it is. Okay, excellent. That is upgrade. Muy bien. Let's begin with the first question. I want to ask a person directly. Let me see. Yeah, Jorge is ready. Jorge? Hello. Hello. Okay, how is the manufacturing process at your company? Well, um, the manufacturing process is um, a little complicated. Mm -hmm. because we we use uh, a lot of machines yeah. and the process is 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 in como se es el siguiente como se dice el siguiente it's the following it's the next the process is the following power the following the process okay.
the following. Okay, the process is the following. We receive the lens, lens uh, about that. Yes, yes. We receive the lens um, in a, um, uh, in a base, uh, is in, in una base uh, in bruto. <laughs> okay, and then with one machine, we cut the lens to uh, adapt it to the frame. Just yes. To the frame. Uh -huh. Then, then we um, tallar. I, I don't know. Tallar de, de, de tallar, de desbastar el, el lente. You can say sizes. Sizes. Okay, sizes. No, size. Okay. A sizes. Sizes. Ah, okay, size. The, the size. The size. Size. Uh, until the, the lens is ready for the arrow. Para el aro, el aro oftálmico. En el, en, el, en el trabajo donde estoy, esto se separa. Para nosotros esto es un, un lente o, o los lentes. Pero esta es una cosa. Esta es un armazón y este es el lente como tal. Armazón oftálmica. Ahí sí no sé cómo, cómo se dice. Ahora yo no lo en español. Ok, ok. And that, uh, yeah, that's the process. All right. Looks very, sounds very complicated. Yes. People, let me tell you, there are, there are some areas, there are some areas that I don't really know about. There are some areas that I don't know about. Many areas that I don't understand the vocabulary. I don't know. I'm being honest. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, Jorge, thank you very much. Let me see. Edwin, what about you? How is the manufacturing process at your company? Uh, well, in my company, it's not a company of manufacturing, it's a company of service. Okay. Uh, well, in the first step of the of the of the service is contact your contact with the customer and and how do you see preguntarle? Ask. Uh, and ask uh, of the problem, of the problem he's doing in the in the system. And the second is repair the problem, and third, and finally report the solution for email. By email, through email. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. That is okay. Thank you for your uh, explanation, Edwin. Marvin, what about you? How is the process there? Uh, the, the first, the first. Yes. Ah, okay. Uh, I think it's not a manufacturing because I work for uh, a service company. So maybe the process is uh, I'm working with a uh, when technician support. So maybe my process is to receive an email uh, asking for help or something like that, and, and I I answer the, the email and I try to connect to the computer of the of the customer, and I help and I help them, and, and maybe it's something easy I can help or maybe take me a, a little more of time. Maybe that is the process, but it's not exactly a manufacturing. Right, right. All right, all right. Marvin, excellent, excellent. Thank you, Marvin, for explaining to us how it is. Okay. We asked uh, for his help, Edwin's help, and Marvin's help. We need a woman. Hello, ladies. I'm going to you. Hello. Okay, Veronica, excellent. Yes, the first of the first row, 
I received the order and then passed the department sublimator. Uh, yes, Sublim sublimator is correct. Pronunciation, sublimator. Yes, yes. Sublimate. And then, uh, and the following the plant or factory. Plant. The sewing plant. The sewing sewing machine. Sewing machine. A sewing. Sewing machine. Um there is the packet and finally we ship it to customer. That's it. Okay, okay. It's a very easy process, huh? Yes. It's still raining, but not that hard. All right, Veronica, thank you very much. I need another woman. Hello, lady. <laughs> What is the woman's? Hey. <laughs> we are sleeping. Almost. But uh, <laughs> in my case, it's the same as Marvin and Edwin. So. Okay, I understand. I understand. Let me tell you a short story. One time uh, I was in class, I think it was last year. I'm not quite sure. But a person, a person left the microphone on, and the person was sleeping and snoring. I was snoring, is snore. I think I chat. I was in class with this group, and this person started to snore. a roncar en la clase de los míos, y estaba roncando. No. Yes. Yes. I thank you for having me. Yes. Some people don't don't fall asleep. I have a. No, pasó una vez en reunión, teacher. No. Yes. Okay, that's not good. Despedido. Five. All right. All right. People, what, what do you think about your current your current equipment at the company? That's the second question. What do you think about the current equipment at your company? Let me hear three or four, two or three people. I'm going to ask directly then. Uh, I think they have to change the furniture, these chairs, oh my God. And also some work, co-workers uh, break down some chairs. Oh no, I can imagine, I can imagine. I'm sorry, Tara. But I'm here. Sandra, take a pill, take some medicine. Take it easy, okay? Take it easy. All right. So Paola says that in her company, they have to change the chairs and the furniture, basically. All right. What else? Let me see. Let me try with uh, with Christian. What do you, oh, no, Christian is the same person. Works with, works with you. Anna, what about you? What do you think about the current equipment at your company? Uh, and we in my company we don't have um uh, equipment 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 uh, yes. uh, equipment. Um, we only have um mismat and no sé cómo se dice binoculares binoculares Binoculars. Binoculars and binoculars. Fi binoculars, figures, and I think it's necessary to upgrade because there are uh, equipment is um, 
It's very yeah. old fashioned. <laughs> yes, it has a, lo a lot of years. It's old fashioned. Old fashioned. Yes. Okay, I understand. One one more person. That person is Maya. Maya. Hello, teacher. Um, Hi. in my case, the equipment I my work is fine. Wow. Very fine. All right. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Let me tell you about my equipment where I work. Uh, well, basically, the furniture has to be upgraded. The chairs and the, well, the desks, the chairs, the tables are in very bad conditions. Yes. My students are always looking for, for chairs because we don't have enough chairs. And if we have, if we do have chairs, then I don't see them. They're in bad, very bad conditions. All right. Excellent, people. Let's continue. I don't like this. Hi, Ms. Kucha? Yes, teacher. Can you say anything? Yes. Yes. Hello. Yes, teacher. Yes, I can hear. Hola. Hello. Okay, hoy sí les escucho. Hoy sí, hoy sí. Muy bien, muy bien. Perfecto. Así me gusta porque esta cosa me me me. I don't know. It's weird. Let's continue with the grammar topic. Let me show you how the pronunciation is. Look, with this word, with this modal verb, we do not pronounce the L. Okay, la L que está acá no se pronuncia. Look, where is it? Should. Look, should. That's the pronunciation, should. Even, well, that's in the, the, the UK. It's in the US, it's should. Okay, should. Don't say should con L, okay? That is not correct, it's should, all right? Do not forget about that. And should means debería or debes. Okay, let me show you or, oh, yeah, here. Yes. Let's begin. We did this part already. Look here. How to use should? Como usar should? And it says right there, should is a modal verb to give advice. Advice. People, what is advice? Do you know? Advice. Like a recommendation. I'm sorry? Like a recommendation. Okay, it's like a recommendation. Yes. It's like a recommendation. The verb, the verb is this the same. The verb is this one. Go to the chat. I'm going to share it there. That is the verb with S. All right. Let me repeat. Should is a modal verb to give advice. So we use a should to give advice. Advice means consejo. Or to talk about what we think is right or wrong. Or to talk about what we think is right or wrong. Let me see. Marvin, can you please read the first example? Repeat it, please. Upgrade our system. Okay. We should upgrade our system. Deberíamos actualizar nuestro sistema. Thank you. Thank you, Marvin. Let me see. Sara, can you read the next example? Sara, hello. Hello, teacher. Can you read, please? Puede leer. They should bring new equipment. Equipment. Should. E equipment. Uh -huh. And this is should. 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 Okay. Should. They should. They should bring new equipment. Deberían traer nuevo equipo. Okay. Anna, read this one. 
uh, we should not continue with the same market. Okay, we should not continue with the same market. No deberíamos continuar con el mismo mercado. Brian, la última. This company should, it should broad its target. Okay, this company should broad its target. People, take a look at the structure, la estructura, observen. Subject, okay, means the person or the place or the animal, the subject. Then we use should or should not. The verb, the verb has to go in the base form. Debe ir en su forma original o su forma base. Plus the complement. Subject, should, oh, sorry, sorry. Subject, we. Should, well, over here, should. Verb, upgrade. And complement our system. Okay, that is the structure, okay? Yes. Now, let me show you let me show you some examples. Oh, here. Should or shouldn't. Okay, should or shouldn't. As you can see, you can make a contraction with should not. Acá tenemos should not. Bueno, acá está, mira. Should not. But we can make a contraction. The contraction is shouldn't. Shouldn't. Así como está acá. Okay. I repeat, should in Spanish is debería. And shouldn't, no debería, okay? But what do we use a should for? ¿Para qué usamos el should? Acá está. Observe. We use should or shouldn't to express the following. Advice, que era consejo. Good ideas. Bad ideas. Recommendations. And suggestions. Okay, and suggestions. Look, extra. There is a modal, there's another modal verb. There you go. There is a phrasal modal verb that has the same meaning as should. That phrasal modal is out of. Okay? You can use should or out of. Out of cannot be, cannot be used in the negative form. Only in the affirmative form or questions, but for questions it's very complicated. So we can use should or we can use auto and to express the same. Okay, y se llama phrase muda porque tiene dos palabras. And out and the preposition to. Let's continue. So again, advice, good ideas, bad ideas, recommendations, and, excuse me, and suggestions. Look, advice. I have some examples for advice. And uh, let's take a look at the structure, should plus base form. English students should practice all the time. English students should practice all the time. This is a good advice. Employees should arrive, arrive on time. Employees should arrive on time. Hey, that's me, look. Mauricio should explain topics Clearly. Mauricio should explain topics clearly. Esto que está acá son consejos. Okay? Consejos. All right? Questions, people. This topic should not give you any problems. It is quite simple to understand. It should not give you any problems. Okay. Teacher, if I want to use how to, I have to say English student, how to practice all the time. Exactly, exactly. Yes, you are right. 
Let me do it, by the way. Let me do it. Thank you for saying that. We'll be like this. English students. Uh, oops. There you go. And it is basically and grammatically the same. Okay? It's the same. And I told you, but auto, auto cannot be used for the negative form or in the negative form. Only with the affirmative form and questions, but questions are very difficult. So, questions, no. <laughs> questions, no. Right? Or we can say employees auto arrive on time in Mauricio, auto or how to explain topics clearly. Let's take a look at recommendations. Look at this. Recommendation is about movies, a series, music, uh, et cetera, all right? Recommendation, we should use social media correctly. People, we should use social media correctly, all right? We should watch the Megalodon movie. Have you watched it, Lambisto? No, no? I have, okay, or he has. I haven't seen the first movie, so I don't know. No la vista, ni la primera vista. People, the next example, look, that's the best example. The best example. You should listen to Bud Bunny. He's amazing. <laughs> no, I le puse really? joke. No. no, I le puse joke. I don't dice, think so. Acá, en paréntesis. Esa es broma, broma. <laughs> joke. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was being sarcastic. It's sarcastic. Okay, don't worry, but that person is not talented. Okay, so with, with recommendations, okay, let me go back. For advice, we can we can advise people with anything. Okay, you can use anything. And the recommendations for music, movies, videos, uh, what you like, places that you like, restaurants that you like, clinics that are good. Okay, doctors that are good, etc. Those are recommendations. So we use should for recommendations. Look, suggestions. Suggestions is when you are uh, telling a company or other places to do or to have things that don't have. For example, look, companies should have coffee machines. What do you think about these people? They should, right? They should. Companies should have coffee machines, all right? Schools should hire psychologists. Schools should hire psychologists. What is hire, people? So it is hire. Contratar. Lo opuesto es? What is the opposite? Fire. Fire, quemar. No, fire, despedir, okay? Hire, contratar, fire, despedir. Oh. Yes. Yes. All right. Let's continue. Let's continue. The last one. They should clean more efficiently. They should clean more efficiently. All right? There you go. Do you have any questions, people? No? Like I said before, this topic should not give you any problems. Okay, muy bien. Okay, now I have examples. I have examples in a negative form. I have examples in a negative form. It can be advice, it can be recommendations, it, and it can be suggestions. Look at the first example, Jorge, hello. Sorry, Jorge. <laughs> Hello. Don't worry. Dice, Jorge should not or shouldn't flirt. Miren, que me... Me equivoqué ahí, espérame. Flirt. Perfectísimo. Okay, 
Let me repeat it again. Jorge or George shouldn't flirt with other women. What is flirt? You know what flirt is? Uh, I don't know. Martin, repeat it. I don't know. I cannot hear you. Okay, oh, yes, yes. Thank you. Ligar. Ligar. Okay. Yes. Levantarle la ceja. Levantarle la ceja, dice. Guiño, guiño. You should not do that one. Stop one. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot do it. I cannot do it. <laughs> well, okay. I can't. Okay. Yes. So that's a bad idea, right? Bad idea. Ana Victoria, hello. No, Ana Victoria. Ana Victoria should not smoke too much. You should Only stop. Thing. You should stop. <laughs> Only you thing. should not eat too much junk food. Mayra should not get angry all the time. Mayra, take it easy, right? Take it easy. Do not get angry. <laughs> all right. The teacher shouldn't use third party material. I don't use third party material, so no problem. And the students should not copy on their exams. Okay. Yes. Now, do you have any questions? Okay, I have some words. I have some words here. You might know them. You might know them. Uh, get along with, well, not words. They are uh, phrasal verbs and some verbs. Get along with, put up with, bring up, look for, work out, take off, hang up. Water, book, save, purchase, uh, sell, behave, practice, and litter. Questions about them? Guys, questions about them? Mm, what is behave? Which one? Uh, behave. Litter. Behave. No, behave. Oh, behave. Behave. Yes. Yes. It's to, to act well in front of people. To act. To act well in front of people. Or in Spanish, mm -hmm. comport, comportarse. Okay. Thank you. Teacher, More bring questions. up. Sorry? Bring up. Bring up. Mencionar. Okay. Mention. To mention. That is bring up. To mention. What else? More questions? And get along with. Oh, get along with is... It means to have a good relationship with a person. To have a good okay. relationship with a person. Or in Spanish, llevarse bien con. More questions? Put up with. Put up with. Tolerate. Put up with. Tolerate. It means to tolerate, tolerar. Tolerar. Put up with tolerar. What else? What is the last one? Litter. What is it? Do you know what litter is? Botella. No. Hmm. Okay. No. People no saben, saben, no saben. Do you know? You don't know? But I'm not understanding this context. Como camada cuando un perrito, una perrita tiene sus cachorritos. No. What is? Desper desperdicios. Esta que está acá dice usted. Litter. It, it means it means when you have when you have when you're eating something or when you have something that you don't use, you throw it away. On the streets, that's litter. Contami. 
Yes. Basurear. <ríe> no, no. no existe. Es basura. Es como tirar basura. Contaminar. That's litter. That is litter. Oh. All right. And people, we have the vocabulary here. Let's let's put it into practice. Practiquemolo. Dice ahí. Subject plus should or should not. Verb in the base form and complement. Provide an example using either should or should not to the entire class. Iniciemos, people. Practice the vocabulary that you see here. Give me an example using should or should not. Let me begin. Let me give you an example. Let me use. I should take off my shoes when I get home. I should take off my shoes when I get home. That's my example. Continue. Hello. People, hello, hello. Me, teacher. Okay, Christian, go ahead. We should practice English with the classmate. Repeat. We should pra practice English with the classmate. Yes, exactly. We should. Perfect example. Thank you, Christian. Guys, continue. You're welcome. I should behave at church. Yes, you should behave at church. <laughs> Please, please. Right. Continue, guys. Teacher, we should uh, read a book every month. You should read, dijo, ¿verdad? Read, uh -huh. Okay, you should read a book every month. Mm -hmm. I read books every three years. <laughs> I used to read, I used to read, but I got lazy. I don't read anymore. <laughs> oh, man. People, more examples? You drink a lot of water. Okay. You should drink a lot of water. Oh, guys, what is water? Que significa water? Tenemos water and book over here. Agua. No. These are verbs, actions. What's the mean water? Son acciones. Sorry, teacher, I'm kidding. <laughs> Water um, is when you is when you have roses or plants in your house and you water them. Oh. It means regar. Teacher, and how do you say in English? Clima. Weather. 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 Yes. Weather. I repeat, water means regar, like the plants, the flowers, roses, margaritas. Yes. And book, book means... Like buscar. Which one? Buscar. Book. Yes. Okay, that's a different uh, context. In this context, I would say is uh, make a reservation. Make a reservation. Yeah. All right. People, more examples? The mariage, the, the mar I'm sorry. Go on. <laughs> I shouldn't put up with some people. I shouldn't? Put up with some people. Okay, I shouldn't put up with some people. Exactly, people, that's true, that's true. You should not put up with some people. Put up means tolerate. You should not tolerate some people. All right, Jorge, yes. yes. The mariage, the mariage should get along with together. Should get along with what? Together. Okay, should get along. I thought you should get along. Yeah, okay. Yes, yes. All right, thank you, Jorge, for your example. Let's continue. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Yes. You sure? Uh -huh. Veronica, go ahead. I should portion healthy food. 
I should purchase healthy food. Purchase. Purchase. Uh -huh. What else? Lo último que Health, dijo. Healthy food. I oh. it. Okay, healthy food. Okay. Yes, you should. You should. That's recommendable. What else? Uh, yeah. I, I teacher. Uh, we have should behave better than yesterday. I should, dijo, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay, I should. We, we have should. Yes. Uh, okay, thank you, Martin, for letting me know. Okay, Diana, Raquel, Brian, Sandra, hello. Yeah. Andy, go ahead. Okay, uh, my example is we should explore that forest for don't lose, uh, lose us. Repeat it. We should explore that forest for uh, for don't lose us. Not to, not to. If they have for, for not to. Let me, let me help you. We should explore that forest. If the forest get evil, Brian. Lo estoy escribiendo. Ok. Listo. Hi, teacher. Hello, Andy. Uh, hold on, hold on. My example is we should always greet every young. We, we, should, we should always greet, greet, ¿verdad? Saludar. Greet, greet. every young. Yes. No, every, everyone. Every, every, everyone. Yes. Yeah, every, sorry, everyone. sorry. We should we should always greet everyone. Yes, exactly, exactly. We should explore our forest. Something like that. We should not we should explore that forest not to get lost. Para no perdernos. Yes. Okay. Uh, let me continue. Sara, Sandra, hello, Jancy, Raquel, Diana. No. Okay, Ismael. Um, we should stay be here. We should. Save, or how do you say it? Save, save. Save, yes, we should save. save. This year. This Your year. Money. We show, uh -huh. feel, save. this, this year. Years. Okay, we should say this years, okay? People, do you yes. say? Mayra? I say for for her vacation. <laughs> she safe for vacation. Oh, okay, okay. I get it now. I get it. for the vacation. All right. Thank you, Mayra, for letting me know. Ismael was about to say. Uh, uh teacher, can I use hangout? Yes. Okay. The example is. We should hang out this weekend. Okay, we should hang out this weekend. Yes, we should. We should. People, are you saving money for Christmas? No? If you're not, you should. You should save money for Christmas. I have uh, like 10 cents right now. So it's okay. <laughs> Makes sense. All right. Uh, we're waiting for Sandra, Raquel. Sandra, Elizabeth, Sarah, Raquel, Raquel, Elizabeth. Oh, yes. Only them three. 
No, we're good. Okay, let's go. Let's go to the book or let's go back to the book. Over there, we're going to see the next activity. It's activity number five. Look at it. Complete, dice, dice la indicación. Complete the statements using should or should not. Compare your answers with a partner. Guys, let me give you from three to four minutes to complete this exercise. We got this over here. Complete the statements using should or should not. All right, go ahead, people, go ahead. Give me a minute, I'm going to go get water. Consiguiera un poco de agua, un segundo, un minuto. Ya regreso, consiguiera un poco de agua. I am back, people. Still raining okay, outside. Okay, teacher.
Are you guys ready? Están listos? Yes, teacher. Piece of cake, right? Okay, let me see. Andy, can you read the first one? Andy's not there. Raquel, Elizabeth, can you read the first one? Please. No, okay. They fall asleep. You is mine, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or products should be fresh. Okay, there you go, there you go. The answer is... Our products should be fresh, yes. Our products should be fresh. Thank you for reading. Christian, read the second one. Oh, this company shouldn't forget about quality. Okay, this company shouldn't forget about quality or should not forget about quality. There you go. This company shouldn't forget about quality. Number three, Sara Raquel, can you read it? Let me help you out with that later. No, hold on. Uh, Edwin, are you there? Can you read number three? Yes, sure. Um, for the big question. Yes, we number should, three. Um, we should explore new markets. Okay, we should we should explore new markets. We should explore new markets. Yes, thank you for uh help for helping me. Let me see with the with the with Denise. Denise read number four. Okay, uh, the machinery should not be old. Okay, the machinery should should not be old. The machinery should be should not be old. We are old. But well, the machinery shouldn't. All right. And the last one, let me see. Mayra. Okay, teacher. All the employees should use the machinery. 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 Okay, hold on. All the employees should use the machinery. Yes, let me read them to you again. Our products should be fresh. This company shouldn't or should not forget about quality. We should explore new markets. The machinery should not be old and all the employees should use the machinery. Thank you everyone for your participation. Let's continue down here with the part number six. And it says part number six, write a six line paragraph. This is, good. This is individually, okay? Uh, write a six line paragraph about the equipment at your company. Use should or should not. People, the activity is here. This is the last activity. We are meant to write a, a paragraph with six, six lines, all right? Yes, do you have any questions? No, teacher. Okay, let's begin. The activity is individual. 
let's begin. If you have any questions, let me know or let me know through the chat if you cannot speak because of the rain. You can let me know through the chat. Go ahead. Write the paragraph, six lines. You have to use should or should not. Vamos a usar ahí. Oops. Let me know if you have any questions.
e pular no colo. Ah, é frio. Yes, teacher, very cool. Not nah, teacher. No, I didn't say It's raining here. It's raining, it's raining. Yes, so here too, but it's so cold. It's very hot. Ah, frio. Let me turn off my, my fan. I'm going to turn it off. Hace mucho frío. No apaga el mejor. Are you guys ready? Yes, teacher. Excellent, excellent. Who else is ready? Two minutes, two minutes more, mm -hmm. please. You sure? Hello. How do you say, or how do you pronounce ventilador? Fan. Fan. The fans? <laughs> Only fans. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Jorge, is there a blackout? Yes. Blackout, apagón. When there is no electricity, blackout. Blackout. No, only my family is sleeping. Oh, okay, I understand. I understand. And I'm not. And you're not. <laughs> Yes, T-shirt. I am ready. Okay, Veronica is ready. I finished too. Okay, Denise is ready. Who is not ready? I am I'm not ready. <laughs> not ready. Okay. Edwin is not ready. Jorge is not ready. Okay, let's begin. Who wants to uh, share? See, teacher, 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 teacher. Hello, Jorge. How do you say? Uh, I don't know. Nothing, nothing. Never mind. Okay, okay. Right. Okay, who would like to share? I can't. Right. I can't can Denise, you can watch. Hi, me. Hello. Okay, Denise, go ahead. Okay. Um, teacher in my company, we don't have a lot of equipments, but 
I'm going to talk about the printer. <laughs> okay, it's okay. 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 And in my company, we should not, we should know about the use of printers. We should not use the printers for print personal things like photograph or personal letters. Mm. If we use the printer, we should be careful to not forget mm. any document in the printer because sometimes uh, the documents have sensitive information. Uh, we should use the printer with uh, with um, our own user and password. Uh, you should not use another user and password because it's forbidden. You should use the printer with responsibility. Thank you. That's a good one. Thank you, Denise. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, all right. I don't use printers very much. Yes. All right, thank you, thank you. Let me continue with, no, Denise, you choose a person, Denise. Right. Um, Edwin. <laughs> Edwin? I'm not ready, teacher. <laughs> okay, Edwin is not ready. ¿Quién más yo que estaba listo? ¿Alguien más para que yo que estaba listo? Oh, Brian, go ahead, Brian. Yes, Brian and Veronica. Brian and then Veronica. Okay, teacher, can you hear me? I because the you rain know. out. Okay. okay. Um, my company it's different about the talking about it in this in this topic, but uh, the example is uh is uh auto shops. Auto shops is the use in of a uh, impact gun should be used in most auto shops as as it helps make it easier to disable parts on cars. Another process that should that shouldn't be done with the tool is the continue using it when the nut is ready. Uh, it's it is always important that the employee who use it should always be careful in the space where the tool is used. That's all. Okay, that's okay, it's okay. Thank you, Brian, for sharing. Amazing. Let's continue, Veronica, go ahead. Okay, teacher. In our company, we defense should be clean at the so that they have the better environment. Mm. They should also do maintenance of the computers and put more memory. And the people in the plant should not use loose, I don't know, say, uh, pelo largo, loose. How do you say pelo largo? I can hear you, Lalo. Pelo largo. Long hair. Long hair. Long, long hair. Pelo suelto. En las máquinas right. no deben usar el pelo suelto. Oh, long loose hair. Free. Loose, loose hair. Loose hair. Okay. Yes. Should, should not use loose, loose hair in the machine. Uh, hair ever. Yes, hair. <laughs> Use hair and the machine. That's it. <laughs> okay, it's dangerous. It's dangerous, people. Yes. All right. Thank you, Veronica. Who wants to share next? Me, teacher. Thank you, Jorge. Go ahead. Okay, fine. Our equipment should be manipulated only for technical employers. Hello? Yes, yes. Yes, okay. The equipment should be upgraded every two years. Equipment should, shouldn't be exposed to sunlight. Equipment should have maintenance every month. Equipment, equipment, equipment. Equipment, equipment, yes. I'm sorry, equipment. Only or only original parts should be used to replace. Tem temperature 
shouldn't be over 45 degrees centigrade. Grados centigrados. Degrees, oh. degrees. You got it? That's it? Yes, finish. Okay, okay. Jorge, thank you. Amazing. Uh, Brian, hello, Brian. Brian? Yes, teacher. Hi. It's your turn to stay today after class. No problem. Okay, thank you, thank you. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, who wants to share next? Teacher, I can share, but um, I don't write a paragraph. I write a sentence. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, my company should change some equipment because our old fashioned. Mm -hmm. My company should make a good coffee. I don't like the coffee. Um, okay. My company should promote work at home because it has a few employees. Okay. Um, my company should hire Oh, my company should promote more your service and my company should not have a big office. Okay, thank you, Anna, for sharing your examples. They are okay, they are correct. Thank you, thank you. Let's continue with another person. Mayra, are you ready? Mm, yes, teacher, I'm ready. Okay, go ahead, share with us, please. Okay, uh, the equipment of my company should not work for this maintenance. Maintenance. And maintenance and to always be working fine. Uh, the equipment, equipment in my world should be of quality and shouldn't be used by an author. How do you say an autorizer? Not authorized. An authorized person. Ah, an authorized, okay. Shouldn't, shouldn't be used by an authorized person. person. By an unauthorized. An unauthorized. Okay. An unauthorized. Yes. Yes, this word. Okay, okay, Mayra, thank you for sharing. Let me see. Let me try with uh, a man. Who's ready? Edwin? Me, um, teacher. Okay, Christian. Go ahead, Christian. Thank you. Okay. In my job, should change the chair because we all and we need to work in a good place. I should work for all in the day because the job is hard. My boss should pay me more because I work all day. <laughs> we shouldn't go to the job all week because I can work in my house. The company should give cell phone because use my personal number. I shouldn't run in the company when I have a problem. Okay, okay, Christian, thank you for sharing your examples. All right. Let me continue with another person. We have Edwin, Sara, Raquel, Diana, Andy, Jancy, Sandra, Paola. Um, teacher, I have only three, three lines. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Don't worry, Edwin. Okay. And the first, we equipment uh, should have good control with the system. Uh, we shouldn't have fear to express we ideas of the client mm -hmm. and we should be proactive, share ideas with the others who work. All right. All right. That's okay. That's okay. Another person. We have plenty of time. <laughs> I should, Mauricio should finish the class on time. And me, teacher. Yes, he should. <laughs> 
Andy, yes, Andy. And okay, the equipment the that one, we have one. and the equipment, the equipment that we have in the company where I work is in is in good condition. Although they should provide it to all signs we work most day from home. And the should provide it to all signs we work most day from home. Uh -huh. It it's all. Okay, it's all. All right, all right. Don't worry, don't worry, Andy. We got it, we got it. People, we do not have we do not have a lot of time. <laughs> okay, we only have two minutes. Do you have any last questions? Or comments or complaints. <laughs> no, okay. Remember, you have to work on the platform. You have to work on the platform. The first, the first session has to be done by tomorrow or today's Monday, right? Or when Wednesday morning, the latest. Yes, because they told me to upload or to yeah to update and upload the the, the, the grades on on uh, on Wednesday, the latest. So people, I need you guys to work on the platform tomorrow, today or tomorrow. All right. Let me update the attendance right now and then we will be free to go. Ana Victoria Galán. Present. You, Andy Ernesto Martinez. Brian David Ramirez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Alberto, he's celebrating. Carlos Eliezer Dimas. No estuvo. Christian Alexander Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you, Christian. Teacher, Alejandra teacher excuse me. Present. Yes, Andy. Thank you, Andy. All right. Present teacher. Thank you, Denise. Diana y Amilet Maravilla. Present teacher. Thank you, Edwin Heriberto Delgado. Present teacher. Thank you, Edwin Ismael Ernesto Boyat. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Ismael. Jorge Ernesto Hernández. Marvin Josué Cortés Roda. Yes. Present teacher. I'm sorry. Thank you, Jorge. Marvin, I think he's here. Or estaba acá. Se fue. His internet was, was giving him problems. So. Mayra Elizabeth Lasso. Present teacher. Thank you, Mayra Paola Geraldine Santa Maria Ramirez. Present. Thank you, Paola. Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa Rodríguez. Present. Thank you, Raquel. Ricardo, no. Sandra Inés Mendoza. She's there. She was sick. Sara Rachel Salazar. Present, teacher. Thank you, Sara. Veronica Lisset Portillo. Present. Present. And Jancy Andrea Solórzano. Present. All right, people. Thank you very much for being here today. It's been a pleasure. And well, you are dismissed. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Take care. And see you tomorrow, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Let's wait, Brian, a little bit. Five minutes. Okay. Okay. Okay.
Okay, Brian. I think Sandra is asleep. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, Brian, do you have any questions, any confusion, or any complication about the topics that we have studied or topics in general? Por el momento, no, teacher. Todo me ha servido bastante. Le he entendido exactamente muy bien. Solamente me falta terminar las, las tareas, ¿verdad? Eh, que precisamente por el problema de mis horarios de trabajo a veces se me complica bastante y a veces sí se me olvida, lo admito. Pero sí, por el momento, preguntas así en general, no. Todo bien. Ok, muy bien. Do you have, do you have any recommendations for the class? Actividad. Realmente no. Activities that I should include? No, realmente no. Yo considero que eh, como está llevando la, las clases es, es bastante proactivo, que es algo primordial para no dormirnos, ¿verdad? Porque algunos venimos cansados, algunos sí. no cenan hasta que termine la clase. Y el hecho de mantener la clase muy activa creo que ayuda bastante a concentrarse y pues a estar un poco más unidos. All right, all right. Uh, do you think that a listening activity should be good for the class? Some listening activities? Mm, listening activities. ¿Alguna actividad del, a, aparte de las que ya ha realizado? Uh -huh. mm, puede ser... ¿Alguna clase como de juego de palabras para irnos familiarizando y, e ir ampliando un poco más el vocabulario? Creo que sería bastante bueno. Ok, por ejemplo, no, no, no. Eh, eh, más que todo, bueno, tomando co como en cuenta el tema principal de Schultz, Schultz eh, vi una parte donde estaba utilizando otros vocabularios referentes a, entonces, no sé si puede ser eh, dentro más o menos eh, realizar alguna clase de juego de oraciones, ya sea en positivo o en negativo o en pregunta, utilizando ese tipo de vocabulario para a aprender a dominarlo un poco más, diría yo. Algo, ¿verdad? Pero okay. sí, así como lo está llevando, es bastante, bastante bueno. I understand, I understand your idea. All right. Yes. Okay, okay. All right. Let me see. I will, I will, I'm checking the platform right now, and I can see that you have no worries at all. Ninguna actividad ha realizado. No, por el momento no. Justamente voy a... En, en estas horas lo voy a llegar a realizar para ponerme completamente al día si llegase a tener algún problema ya sea de sistema porque en el módulo pasado sí tuve varios problemas se recuerda sí, sí. entonces como, que veces uno... pase eso sí ajá entonces yo lo voy a colocar ahí en el grupo o se lo o se lo notifico a usted para ver si solo es conmigo o es, o es en general ¿verdad? pero yo me voy a poner al día en en estas horas para para ir conforme a los topics ¿verdad? Que usted vaya realizando hasta, durante la clase. Tenemos hasta el día. ¿Qué día es ahora? Ahora es lunes. Eh, según ah, las reglas que había colocado al inicio, es hasta el martes a la medianoche, ¿verdad? Ajá, martes a la O miércoles en la mañana, como a la, hasta las 8. Mm, ok, ok, ok. Sí, sí, bueno, bueno pero lo voy a hacer antes. Tengo entendido, son. Con este día serían seis tareas, ¿verdad? No, serían Porque cinco. Porque son cinco. cinco. Van cuatro. Ah, sí, es cierto, es cierto, es cierto, es cierto. Porque comenzamos bien. Ajá, bueno, son cuatro, mañana serían cinco, sí, sí. Ok, perfecto, perfecto. Entonces, eso sería más que todo. Ok, muy bien, Brian, ok. Thank you for staying, and I will see you tomorrow, all right? See you tomorrow, teacher. Okay. Good night, good night. Take care, bye.